Stop memorizing hundreds of lead code problems and instead focus on the patterns to help you ace any interview. Today we're looking at the sliding window pattern. You should use this for linear data structures, when you need to find the shortest, longest, minimum, maximum of a subarray, and when you need to satisfy some condition in your subarray. Let's take a look at an example of why we need this. If we want to find the longest substring without duplicates, we need to use a double for loop if we don't use the sliding window. This results in an O of n squared algorithm. Can we do better and be more optimal? We can use a dynamic sliding window by using two pointers, i and j. The idea with the sliding window is you increment j as far as you can to the right until your constraint is no longer valid. Then you update the i pointer to shrink the window and make the constraint valid again in your current substring. You keep doing this and this results in only iterating through the array just once, which is an O of n algorithm. There's also a concept of the fixed sliding window. In this case, we want to find the max subarray sum of size 3, so we just keep the sliding window size 3 throughout the entire algorithm. If you'd like to learn every single lead code pattern that you absolutely need to know for all your tech interviews with coding templates and lead code questions to solve, be sure to check out my blog at blog.codeinmotion.io. If you'd like to see the Blind75 list in animated format, be sure to check out my YouTube channel.